Officials have identified a missing Texas guardsman who tried to save drowning migrants. We are now in day three of the search. And I just wanted to give a shout out and prayers up. Uh, tough story. We talk about politics all the time and whatever else. And this is real life and a real life hero. The Texas Military Department continues the search for Texas Army National Guard Specialist Bishop E. Evans. A comprehensive interagency search began on Friday morning when SPC Evans went missing following his selfless efforts to rescue two migrants who appeared to be drowning while crossing the river from Mexico into the U.S. And the river is dangerous out there. It looks scary. Texas National Guard soldier continues after they reportedly went into the water to try to help two migrants who appeared to be drowning. That happened at the Rio Grande River near Eagle Pass, Texas. It's this video from the area yesterday. The guardsman was assigned to Governor Abbott's Operation Lone Star. In an update from the Texas Military Department today, we are told the soldier's family has been notified. Their identity will be released at a later date. So we did just hear the identity. There is uh, people on the ground. There are people on the ground reporting off of this. Day three, Anna Diarelli reports on Twitter that there are a lot of people looking to find this young man. So we are down here, I'll give you a bigger view here. So we're down on the Rio Grande in Eagle Pass, Texas, just north of downtown, about three miles. You can see the response here, federal, state, and local law enforcement all out here uh, looking for a missing male National Guard soldier, Texas National Guard soldier, who was deployed to the border here as part of Governor Greg Abbott's um, operation star. Uh, the soldier was missing around 8.30 central time this morning. Uh, I'm told that Navarre County Sheriff Tom Schmerber that the soldier saw a woman, a migrant woman, trying to get across the river there from Mexico, struggling and uh, jumped in. He left his body armor and walked Ducky behind and he has not reappeared since. Um, you can see over here you can see right over there you see some law enforcement over there down on the banks and we are kind of in a media staging area it's just myself and one other outlet but the green trucks there the green stripe those are border patrol and then you have a lot of you have a lot of unmarked vehicles actually so um, still waiting Reportedly, the people he were he was trying to save, who were cro trying to cross the border illegally, were allegedly uh, smuggling drugs, which is not a surprise when you consider what happens at the border. Reportedly, SPC Evans, 22, a field a field artillery man from Arlington, Texas. He joined the Texas Army National Guard in May of 2019. He returned in the fall of 2020 for mobilization to Operation Spartan Shield in Kuwait. During this mobilization, his dedication, talents, and tactical prowess led his leadership to regularly assign him to operations in Iraq in support of Special Operation Forces for short periods of time, while then rotating back to Kuwait. Ku Kuwait. Just prayers up. I hope everything's, you know, as, as it goes longer, we have to be realistic about the uh, chances. But thoughts and prayers to his family and, and nothing but uh, thanks and love for his service from me.